Now in its 10th year, this is GabNet. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, everybody. Live from Harlem in New York City, it's me, it's Alex, and yes, it's the Ramble. Ladies and gentlemen, out to San Francisco, California, we go for a weekly visit with our old friend, and I think you're at about 250 now of these. Wow. If not more, it depends on which list I look at. So, <laughs> it's Larry Brown, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, who's done more segments with us like this than anybody else on the face of the earth. That's true. That's unbelievable. Mm -hmm. mm. Have a little sip of coffee here. So how you doing, Larry? Okay. I had, you know, you got to be thankful for small things. And, okay. Um, yeah. Last time we talked, I was telling you I was dreading the Blue Angels were coming into town. Yeah. Well, Saturday, there was enough fog they couldn't fly. <laughs> oh, good. And Sunday, I left town, so I don't know if they flew or not. <laughs> <laughs> we are two of the people that hate the Blue Angels, right? Or do you love them? I have no idea. I just assume you can't. I, would, I wouldn't mind if they flew, like, over a... Not a city, but over a city is just ridiculous. It's just do they go, the noise is do, unbelievable. Do they go over the city now? Because what they used to do is they would go down the uh, um, down the river, down the river, down the the bay, and use that, right? Well, they're still flying over the city as well, and they, it's just like when they fly over your apartment. Yeah, it's like if you had ten hair dryers in your ear on high, the noise is. That loud. Well, what used to happen with me was they would do this, this is, and I, it's ridiculous, but they would do a thing they called their rehearsal. And they would do that on Friday. Right. And then they would fly over the city. They wouldn't fly over the bay because they didn't want anybody to see what they were doing. Right? This is a rehearsal. Mm -hmm. This is not the real thing. Avert your eyes, you know? And uh, that used to keep me away I, because I used to go home in the afternoon. You know, I'd get up early in the morning. And so what I would do so I could stay up a little later at night is I would just sleep about six hours from about 7 until 5, or rather 11 till 5. And then I would come home and do another two hours sleep around 1 o'clock. Well, all of a sudden I'm trying to sleep and these things are going overhead. And this isn't the big show. This is the rehearsal. So I, 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 I you know, I did. I then one of these days, those planes are going to come down in a populated area, and everybody's going to exactly. go, "Oh, gee, how are we so stupid to let that happen?" I know. You know, I mean, those are airplanes, and they were they were doing aerobatics, and they're like one wing tip away from each other. You know. And uh, one day, something's going to happen. I don't know if it hasn't already, you know, in some other city, but it certainly could happen in San Francisco. Well, that, would walk, that would knock out about a, a block of apartments if it did. Well, these guys were zipping past, like, uh, buildings and just within inches of the buildings. You know, and you go, hey, hey, why are you allowing this? Oh, well, they're the Blue Angels, and we love the Blue Angels. Fuck you with your Blue Angels. You know? So, uh, I guess we're just grouchy old men, huh? Yeah, we're not the only ones, though, because uh, a lot of people hate them because it just freaks their pets out. It freaks the pets out, yes. And, you know, there are people who have been in wars who have um, um, battle fatigue or whatever. And they hear something like that, and they're like under under the bed, you know. Um, I yeah, and it, uh, it does give you the feeling like if you were if you were in a city that was under siege, what it would be like. It'd be horrifying. 
Well, when I was a kid, I lived over Marin County, and we had... Uh, um, are you still there, by the way? I am. Okay, because I heard some kind of sound, which, I don't know, scared me, because it sounded like something <laughs> was going off. But anyway, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, uh, uh, I li- when I lived in Marin County, uh, we lived on a hill, and the, the house above us on the hill had a couple that lived there. And so now it's 4th of July, and what does a kid like me do? I go out and get some cherry bombs, you know, those louder-than-usual firecrackers. Uh-huh. And I and a friend start blowing off the cherry bombs, and we get a call from from this woman up the street who she and her husband lived in the home saying, would you tell your son to please stop blowing off those firecrackers? <laughs> My husband was in the war, and this was shortly after the wars were over and everything. And he was, he was, in fact, he was a battle photographer. And she said, he is under the bed right now. Wow. Because he had, you know, what do they call it? Shell shock or whatever they call it. And, uh, you know, from that time on, I, re- I respected the fact that there were people that were bothered by something like this. So, of course, yeah. when we had the Blue Angels, I went, there's some people out there been in wars, you know, especially like Vietnam. And they hear a jet come over like that, and they go ducking. It's just a, it, it's an, a natural reaction to what uh, what they're doing. But I mean, they're, they're just assholes. I don't I don't like it. You know, everybody goes, oh, yeah. but they're so much fun to watch. Yeah, until they crash into your home, <laughs> and they burn up so much fuel. Mm-hmm. That too, but I don't I don't care about that. You know. As much as I care about getting a good afternoon sleep. And also, I don't mind if you're going to do it on Saturday. You're going to have the show on Saturday. But you're rehearsing on Friday? You know? When I'm trying to get my nap, I'll, I'll accommodate you on Saturday. I'll go somewhere. It's my day off. I'll go to the country. I'll avoid you. But I can't when I when it's a work day, for crying out loud. And there are people. Oh, that's good, what? That's a good point, though, about the people that have shell shock and things. <laughs> well, you know what I don't like. What I don't like is uh, what. I, boy, I keep hearing sounds going off here, and I don't know what's going off because it's not you, and it sounds like it's go, you're going off or something, and you're not. But I hear these these bleep. So anyway, where were we? Oh yeah. So I mean, uh, here in the in the city, uh, I live on a corner that's a very kind of busy corner. But you know, when you get to be midnight, shouldn't be busy, right? And there are people downstairs shouting, and people going by on their motorcycles with the you know they didn't put any mufflers on them, so they can they have a small penis and they want to make it bigger, you know. <laughs> And, uh, in fact, Marjorie yells out the window, small penis, small penis. <laughs> uh, and, and these people keep go by at, like, you know, midnight. And I'm going, don't they realize this is a residential neighborhood? But nobody has consideration for anybody. Do I sound like an old man? Well, I think there's no civility anymore. See? See, you're an old man, too. But then again, you've always, so, yeah. you've always been an old man. Yeah. I've never liked noise. <laughs> no, but I do I do think that if you live in this world with other people, then you respect their space as well, you know? And you don't just go, hey, I, I'm going to uh, go take my motorcycle, take the muffler off the goddamn thing, and drive down the street with this loud, gigantic noise. And then they have these, these groups of motorcyclists who all get together... And they all go down the road at the same time. That's really a, a treat. Yeah. I've seen that here where Lombard, like literally hundreds of by, by motorcyclists. Yeah, yeah. And they think it's, you know, it's their right to do it. Yeah, I guess. But it's not your right to annoy me. It's not your right to come into my neighborhood and disrupt it. Uh, uh, I'm just an old, I really am an old man now. It really, cranky. it's gotten to that point. You know, I, 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 I got, I'm having trouble walking more than a couple of blocks. 
you know, I'm, and, and that makes me cranky. And then the, the all the noise outside. Why don't you people shut up? Make don't make noise. You know, get off my lawn. Uh, and, but I'm getting to feel like an old man. Either that, or people have become less respectful of other people. It could be both. Well, it could be the one. It could be that people don't care about anything but themselves. I think that's very true. You know, and uh, I, I, I don't, I don't really understand it. You know, I mean, come on, have a little consideration for other other people. You'd want them to have the same consideration for you. So anyway, whatever. I think if you go to Japan, people are very uh, quiet and uh, respectful and mannerly. Other countries, pretty much people are respectful of your space and of other people. Like, am I making too much noise? Uh, Might I keep the neighbors up because of the noise? But when you don't care, you drive your motorcycle down the street and you don't care at at 1 o'clock in the morning... Boy, are you a low life, in my opinion? You know, you know I just, I just always, always recognize the right of other people to have a certain amount of comfort, and for me not to impede on that comfort. Oh boy, am I an old man? <laughs> yeah, I'm 84, folks. Fuck you. I can, I can be griping like this. I did you gripe like this when you were younger? I think I did. To this extent? I was, I was old when I was a teenager. <laughs> well, you've always been an old soul. There's no question yeah. about that. But being an old soul doesn't mean that you get grouchy. That doesn't come with the territory. Like, Yeah, I don't think I was grouchy when I was younger. I was more like terrified probably you know well you know marjorie says to me boy you're really you're so grouchy these days you know when you go down when we walk down the street you're grouchy and i said because every step hurts me you know and that's what makes me grouchy hell no she's got her problems that makes her grouchy so well that's why that's why they say old people are grouchy because most old people have a lot of pain all people have uh, all all old people have pain. Are yeah. you starting to have pain? Oh yeah. Yeah, and you're how old? Lower back, seventy two. So you got the lower back. You got the lower back didn't start bothering me till about a year ago, two years ago. Uh, you were boy, you held out on that. Yeah, uh, but now I just you know I'm at home and I. I'm just working on something, and it's and I bent, I'm having slightly bent over to do it, and man, my back starts killing me. Yeah. See, folks, this is uh, uh, we're kind of I kind of uh, have described myself, and I could describe you as uh, Sacagawea. <laughs> uh, and in case people don't know who Sacagawea was, because people do not study their history anymore, it's another one of my gripes. Uh, Sacagawea was the woman who led L- Lewis and Clark across the country. And she would go ahead of them and say, okay, this is the way to go. It's safe up here. It's nice down here. You go over here. And so I kind of think we're the Sacagawea of aging. Oh, you know, you're going to start hurting about this point. <laughs> you're going to give up here. Lower back pain, I think, is the most common, isn't it? Of all the it of is, all the yeah. complaints, uh-huh. yeah. Right. I never had lower back pain till about a year ago, two years ago. That's amazing. Yeah, I know. I know. I never. In fact, I never had any real problems, and now I'm having trouble walking. You know, more than a block or two. And uh, we're going to Europe, and I'm fearing every minute of it. And Marjorie has ordered up a wheelchair for me at the airport. Although I think I could probably walk it because at airports it's all escalators and walk, moving sidewalks, you know. Um, but nevertheless, uh, I I would rather um, not have to use a wheelchair. But she's ordered me up a wheelchair. She asked the travel agent, "Get him a wheelchair." Okay, I'll get him a wheelchair. So, uh, you know, wow. I'll. I'll I'll just loaf along. Uh, the only advantage to a wheelchair, by the way, at the airport, ladies and gentlemen, is it gets you through everything. Exactly. 
You know, I mean, TSA he goes, ah, he's he's a cripple. Let him go through. Although I got one of these fast passes now, where I can go past TSA and not take my shoes off or things like that. So, uh, that's the, uh, huh? Yeah, well, that's uh, when are you going to uh, Paris? Yeah, yeah, just for five days. I really wish we were going for a longer trip, I think. I think we made a big mistake by only doing it for five days. Uh, you know, she... And the reason we did it for five days... There's that sound again. Well, it's, uh, that's the kind of sound that goes off when uh, when something is not working or stopping or something like that. Uh-oh. Yeah, but this, this, I have no idea why that is. Anyway, so uh, concluding what I'm saying... Uh, I, I'm going to have to use a wheelchair probably at the airport only because we ordered one up. And I don't know if they're electric or whether somebody wheels me. So, we'll find you out. you got to get the electric. Really? Okay. No, I think so. And you yeah. got to, when are you leaving? We're leaving uh, on the 7th of November, and I think we're back like the 11th or 12th, something like that. So, yeah. Right know. after the election. Yeah, right after the election. Well, we've done it that way because should Trump win, we're just not coming back. <laughs> well, that is, that is a possibility. <laughs> but why should we come back? Right? Oh, I don't think it makes any difference anymore. <laughs> whether I come back or not? No, whether who wins, it's all a... I don't know. Oh, I, I know. I don't know. I think I, I, I don't think I'd mind living in France, you know, for a while. And then when, uh, when, I'm, when our visa wears out or whatever, we just go over to Spain. And when that wears out, we go to Italy. You know, we just keep traveling. And uh, then one day we drop dead, and then it doesn't matter anymore. And it, who cares if Trump was president? I don't want to be around here with, if Trump's president. I'm sorry. How about you? It doesn't bother me that much. Really? No, I just remember when he got elected the first time, I was doing some local radio show here, and the woman was just carrying on. Oh, my God, he's going to overturn Obamacare. This is awful. And I said it's not going to happen. Of course it didn't, so. Yeah, there's some re- some noise that's going off here, and I can't figure out what it is. It's I, I don't have anything open that would make a noise. Maybe uh, my landline's got an infection. No, no, it's a it's a computer noise that I'm getting, and I can't figure out what the hell it is. So you know, I'll just live with it. It's not, it's the kind of sound that the computer makes when say I lose you. You know. Okay. So it's it's weird. So uh, how is how has everything been with you generally? How's your health to begin with? See, we have to ask him that. I think it's okay. I just uh, the thing is, when you get older, when something goes wrong, it can go wrong really quickly. <laughs> So I'm living in constant fear. Constant fear that you're going to wake up and all of a sudden that one thing's going to go wrong? Yeah, and constant fear that uh, death is around the corner. Well, it, hey, 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 I'm 84. Believe me, I wake up every morning worrying about it and go to sleep every night worrying about it. Yeah. You know, and it shouldn't be, by the way, to be honest with you, you know. Uh, I shouldn't have to worry about that. I should say, live every day like it's your last. Enjoy life, you know. Uh, but then I'm 84 and I'm grouchy, so screw you. We're allowed to be. We're allowed to be grouchy. Yeah. We'll start a team, Bubbles and Grouchy. Well, who do we know that uh, who our age is also grouchy? <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Do we know anyone that's like not like us? Uh, our age that isn't grouchy. Well, they, some of them say they're not grouchy, but they are. But they don't realize it. You know, mm-hmm. like I have my old producer who was here to visit us, Albert, and he's a he's a great guy. I love Albert. You know, best producer I ever had. 
uh, and and uh, has become a real friend. You know, especially he's my he's my best friend now that every best friend I have died. Okay, so anyway, um, and he comes here and he doesn't know it, but he is grouchy. You know. Because he he has an opinion about everything, you know, and and that's that, isn't that a form of grouchiness? Yeah, yeah. So he's not aware, though. But you know, the thing is, as you get older, here's the Sacagawea in me coming out. As you get older, it happens to all of you. You get grouchy because, to begin with, you're hurting a lot, so mm-hmm. that makes you grouchy. Uh, but also, you knew a better time. And I, I don't care if you were born yesterday in the time of Trump. About 20, 40 years from now, 50 years from now, you're going to say, I was living, I was raised in a better time. Right. You know? And when I look back at my past, I mean, I had a very... And when I grew up, it was just very simple all the way around. And and I really have no idea uh, why... Uh, uh, what's happened in this world that has changed changed all that, you know? But all I know is that when I was younger, I didn't, when when I was a kid, your parents, you said to your parents, you know, you're like nine, ten years old. Hey, I'm going up the hill. I'm going down the street. I'm gonna go hang out around the neighborhood, and uh, they say, okay, be back for dinner. Do you think parents just let their kids go out like that anymore? Oh, hell no. You know? I mean, I, it, people, you, 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 you may not believe it, but there was a time when you didn't worry about your kids going out and, and just be back for dinner. Okay, I'll be back for dinner. So, I mean, that was the way we lived. It wasn't like, well, listen, you can go down the street, but I have to go with you, you know? Uh, or uh, call me when you get there. You call me on your cell phone. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, it's just, I'm sorry. You know, I, I, ha- I think I had a better life. I think we did, yeah. Yeah. And, and where you grew up, you grew up in the Midwest, right? Right, right. So you, that's a very simple life, isn't it? It's totally simple, yeah. It was nice. Yeah. You were in what town? Oh, Ohio, Cincinnati. Cincinnati, around in there, yeah. And, you know, you just and, and you had two good parents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They and did they stay together all their lives? They did. That was uh, you wouldn't see that today. You don't see that today. You know, you, you people figure you probably have two at least two marriages in your life: one when you're younger and one when you're older. And back then. Hey, they got married. They stuck together. They fought. My, my parents fought like crazy. But they loved each other, and they stayed together. Did your parents fight? Uh, rarely, rarely. Rarely? Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. mine were the battling Schwarzmans. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, but they loved each other. You know, I always, every, every, every time they had an argument, I didn't feel they were hated each other or didn't like each other. Uh, or didn't love each other. I felt they were just fighting. That was part of two people living in the same confined space together. You know, and uh, well, the other thing was that uh, back then I remember mostly one one parent would work. Yeah, and even if they didn't have good jobs, they all had a home. They had two cars. Mm-hmm. It was much cheaper to live back then. Well, everybody had a car. Every, you know, life was just, I think life was just better for everybody. But mm-hmm. it was simpler, too. I mean, we didn't have the Internet. And, uh, you know, you may be the Luddite, but i am gotten to the point where I don't like the Internet. I don't like any of that technology. I think it's it, because we've used it wrong, you know. So, yeah, anyway. it's become pretty, it's become kind of harmful. Yes, I mean it's it's become dangerous, you know, and and lies are spread by it and all of that. I mean it's terrible, it's just terrible. So, there I go again, folks. The old grouchy <laughs> Alex. Uh, hey, when I was a boy, life was better. I had parents who fought, you know. 
<laughs> but they stayed, they stayed together. They stayed together. That was the lesson that I learned, that no matter how much you fought, and I've had trouble with wives this way, no matter how much you fought, uh, it didn't mean you didn't love each other. You were just fighting because you disagreed with each other. You know, so... But I had wives who, the minute their parents had a fight, they divorced, you know. So they always felt that that, anytime we fought, a divorce was immediately going to follow. Actually, it did, now that I think of it. Anyway, hey, listen, Larry, we've run out of time. Two old men grousing about everything. <laughs> Talk. We're like the... We're like the guys in the balcony, the Muppet guys. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Larry. See you next Thank week. You. Bye bye. Now in its tenth year, this is Gavin. Talk like you've never heard it before. Okay, there was Larry Bubbles Brown. Bubbles, Bubbles Brown. Bulls, but I'm trying to, let's see here. Let me get my, oh, there we go. Okay, I have to get some. I, I got, you know, I'm doing this. I'm the cheap bottle washer and cook and whatever. So, you know, anyway, we uh, we don't have a lot of people waiting to come on tonight. So uh, I will, just, I think I'll I'll play some music and sing to it and dance to it. And uh, do that because I, I don't know what else to do. Anyway, uh, let me see here. Uh, I guess I should just go to the people we have got here. You know, uh, admit them. There are only two of them, and if I don't get more than that, we'll uh, we'll have to just call it quits early. Um, hello to. Oh, wait a minute. What's that with uh, Charlie? He's, um, oh. let me see here. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Okay, now I'll, there you go. There's Charlie, and there's Jeff, and Jeff still can't figure out how to get his sound on. See that? See that quizzical look on his face? Hmm. Yep. It, it happens every time. I don't know why, you know, he hasn't learned uh, how to do it? I wish I could come out to his house, and I can. Yep, I, can I, oh, good. Huh? Tech support's there, so tech support. Pam, tech support. Pam. Yeah. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see here. B. Freeman. Well, that's uh, that's Bree. Let's yep. see if it is Bree. <laughs> you know, if it isn't, uh, uh, we'll. Uh, there we go. And there's Bree. And oh, there he is. Where are you, Bree? You're you're out on the street, right? I am. I am. I'm I'm your man on the street. I'm your uh, what is it? I'm your foreign correspondent, right? Yeah, but there's a lot of gargling noise that you've got. Yeah. I, listen to that. It's gurgling and gargling and and whatever. When you had it pointed up at the uh, up at the sky. I noticed something you don't see a lot today anymore here in the United States, and that's telephone wow. lines and electric lines. Yeah. But look I at that. See him here. Now, what I wanted to show you uh, hmm. was there were these kids that were, that there was like a rock uh, road, a hill, and they, they put they put a, a piece of wood down, and then they put their hands on their shoes, and they ride down the they ride down the embankment. <laughs> oh, really? Well, are, are you going that way, or or what? Or is it? I guess you. I got, don't know that they were happy I was taking a photo of it. You know what I mean? Oh, they they uh, didn't like you taking photos of it. I'm not quite sure what they thought. Some, you know, there were like five or six. One might have thought it was funny I was taking photos. One might have, you know, kind of had a grimace. So I don't, you know what I mean? I don't want to. I'm not in a good zone. Like if if, <laughs> if they decided to take neighborhood justice, I'd be in trouble. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's well, that insane. is that is downtown Kuala Lumpur, right? No, no, it is. No, it is not. Where are you? I 
I'm in a different country today, and I'll. Hey, that look you know, oh, do we have to guess the country here? <clears throat> Let me see here. You want to if I can get the kids sliding down the road? I'm going to take a guess that you're in Vietnam. Yeah, my guess too. That, that was last week. That was last week. Okay, so uh, uh, you're in uh, in uh, uh, South Korea. No. Did you hear the cockatoo there? <laughs> let me see. I'm going to let me figure. Just, just take me. Uh, give me a shot of just some buildings and stuff. Let me see if I can. Well, I'm I'm kind of in the back road here. Yeah. I need to. Uh, I need to get my umbrella out. Why is it starting to rain? It's cloudy. Starting yeah. To rain. yeah. Wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. We got to figure out what country you're in. This is, you know, I've tried most the of them in your area. Is th this, of course, it, it is a South Asian country because uh, oh, uh, Asian. Yeah. I, I see the Asian writing, but I don't know which language it is. Oh, there he goes. He just turned on. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, it, uh, is it, it, it had to be, well, it's not China. That I know. Doesn't look Chinese. Um, it's not North Korea, or you'd never get out. Uh, yeah. Let me see here. What? What do you, you Charlie? You got to guess you want. No, I get. Yeah. You got to. You got, Char, Charlie. You got something you want to? Well, I was guessing Cambodia, but I didn't get an answer. So. Where are the kids? You see? You see him going? They go down the road there. Yeah, your audio kind of is breaking up a bit, you know. So, um, oh, well, there's nice steps there, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it's uh, very much a uh, a scooter country. Yeah. Uh, I'm uh, okay. Well, Cambodia, Th Thailand. Mm -hmm. Was I right at all? Australia? No, that's not. not, that. not, no. <laughs> no, not that. No, no. Not Australia. Mm. So I did get a picture of them sliding down. I don't know. I took a screenshot. Yeah. You. But I really wanted to get a video of that. I, I guess I should. You know, if I give them. If I give them fifty cents, maybe they'll do it. They slide I'm, down. I'm currently the, omitting the. They slide. I'm, they slide down using, uh, uh, using what? Using cardboard or something? Other uh, wood. Wood. Okay. The, I, all through. It has to be a pretty thick cardboard. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This egg, uh, plastic. Yeah, we're uh, the, the picture is kind of breaking up a bit, and the yeah. you know we aren't getting a great. That's all right. Let's stay on this one. <laughs> It's got to be in. A, I'm only, oh, okay, okay, okay. It's got to be in a country with bad Wi-Fi. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> cell service. Yeah, bad cell service. Uh, so what could that be? We'd have to. Hmm. Alex, I, you know, We've I'm named, taking a big risk because my phone keeps go missing. You will. Oh boy, uh, uh, gee, I I have no idea. I have no idea. Will you please tell us where is Bree today? Here you go, Alex. That's for you, Alex. What? Hello. <laughs> what do you mean it's for? Hello. Me? What do you mean it's hello, for? Hello. What do you mean it's for me? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna buy that for you. Uh, uh, buy some fish for me. Oh, and some eggs, and some. You should. Be able to... Come on, look at all the signs. Can you see them? Not I love New Zealand. What? <laughs> it's not New Zealand. New Zealand. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Hello. How are you? They're ready to do their interview, Alex. Yeah, They'll but, tell you where they're from. Oh, uh, oh, oh, I kind of give up. You know, I've named most of the, uh, the places in Asia. That I could think of, yeah. I tried All right, when I... Hill, you're gonna know. When you get to the top of the hill, I'm gonna know where you are. Oh, there we go. See there. Coca-Cola. Somebody wrote here, Brooklyn, New York. 
No. No. <laughs> Well, Malaysia, not, but, Malaysia, but that's uh, you're saying Malaysia. So it, that's a lot of stuff. Okay, Malaysia, and then somebody here said Hong Kong. And no, I, no. Then I said when I get, mm -hmm. I'm coming up to. You should be able to know. You should be able to know. Oh, maybe that is Brooklyn. Hi. 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 I wish I had some behind me. Wait a minute. I don't have anything on me right now. Next time. Okay. But what? I still don't know that. Should I? Should... I usually have food for the cats and I have uh, candy for the kids. But I don't. I don't. Okay. Here you go. Now you have to know. I have to know? Okay. As soon as I. Hello. Sorry. I don't have anything. Okay. There. There's a shopping center with the oh. letters. But what does the shopping center say? Uh, it's, Is it Mexico? No, no, it's it's in Asia. Come on. I know that. Mexico is not in Asia. Those okay. are authentic Mexican women there. I can tell. What is that? Why would I recognize that? I don't recognize those buildings. You better no. find out how to give it away. Anybody from this area would know for sure what that is. Yeah, well, wait it's a minute. Like here, here, here comes Kevin. Maybe he knows. Well, you know. Kevin, do you have any idea where he is? Mm -mm, let's see here. Um, wait a minute. There's his son. <laughs> Now it's getting noisy. I'm going to have to find a Starbucks and put my in noise India. Cancer. You're India. not. You know, so he's not in India because the writing isn't isn't Indian. And those kids, those kids are Asian. somewhere, right? The Philippines. Who guessed that, Kevin? No, the Philippines. <laughs> Who guessed that? Philippines. Yeah, it was Kevin. 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 Yeah. You got it. Finally, it took you like five different countries. What do you <laughs> mean? It took me like 20 different countries. You know. Yeah, yeah. Boy. I think you guessed country in the book. Yeah. All right. I, I think we give him some money here. We're going to keep following him. Yeah, why don't you, why don't, I'll tell you what you do. If you want to keep showing yourself walking down the street, that's fine. But why don't you put it on mute so that okay, we can have, on. we can get a little discussion here without having stuff breaking up and so on. There I we gave, him 20, uh, gave him 20 pesos. I'm going to keep him off my tail for a little bit. Yeah. And, you're, you know, your your audio isn't that great, you know, so we don't, we, it's hard to hear you, so. Yeah, well, say hello to Rob. <laughs> yeah, where is Rob lately? Yeah, he's in the Philippines. Somewhere in there. But I don't know where in the Philippines. You know, and he never, I should call him. I should uh, get a hold of him, find out where he is, mm. you know. Mm. No, I just wanted to, you know, call in and say hello. I was, yesterday I was at a volcano, uh, oh. and I wanted to call in, but uh, I had to, had to take my ride into the city. But uh, I was at Taal, and it was uh, starting, it was spewing, you know, doing what volcanoes do. It's spewing ashes and stuff. Oh, wow. And it was a great... Mm. It would have been Pompeii all over again, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, great, great, good talking to you, Bree, you know, and play, yeah. playing a game of where in the world is Bree. Why are you, just quickly, why are you in the Philippines? Uh, I was invited here mm -hmm. by the, by, uh, I was invited, mm -hmm. and I, uh, so I did my thing, and now I've got a day off, so I'm just walking around. Okay. Well, everybody, oh, sit, wave, wave, good, wave goodbye <laughs> to Bree, who is in in uh, the Philippines, and uh, we'll see you next week, I guess, at some point. You know? Yes, yeah, so I'll be back in Malaysia for three or four days okay. before heading to other countries, which I won't tell you what. Because when I call you from them, you'll have to guess. <laughs> okay, great. No, I love doing this. You know, plus it's been wasted a lot of the time of the show, and I then can go to bed early. Anyway, thank you very much, Bree. We really appreciate it. Live from 
the Philippines. It's your man in the street, the foreign correspondent for Gabnet. Okay, thank you very much, Bree. Good night. <laughs> see you Bye. later. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's see here. Uh, here we ha have everybody else here, or a couple of people here. How you doing, Kevin? You you know you're always working with stuff. Yeah. It's like you're f using this show to file. <laughs> No, I'm opening mail that I haven't opened for three days, and you know, yeah, and bills. I, 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 do you still get bills by mail? Yeah, it's the only way I can keep track of them. Oh, really? And then do you still write checks? Oh no! Oh no! I just okay, I'm online. All right. I just have to make sure that I got them all. Because I, I don't know anybody that uses uh, uses uh, what do you call it? Um, Checks. Checks. And occasionally, occasionally, well, no, occasionally there's somebody who goes, send us a check. And I'm going, does anybody, is that a thing anymore? And I have to go, I have to go into one of my closets and find my checks. I you think know? that's an expression these days, sort of like dial me, dial me up or something. Because nobody dials a phone anymore. Yeah, no, no. Uh, but we'll still say that. Yeah. Well. You know, well, I imagine, uh, I imagine Bubble still dials his oh, phone. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I call him at a number uh, where if he were to call me, he would have to dial up me or whatever. So, wow, whatever. So anyway, it's a so it's a slow night tonight. What the hell is there anything going on? Is somebody doing something? Uh, is it baseball? Maybe is it baseball? Yeah, the Yankee game. Oh, really? They got the big Yankee game going, and it's the mm -hmm. Yankees versus who? Uh, who? Uh, I used to call them the Indians. The Guardians. Oh, oh, the Guardians. Oh, okay. What do they call themselves oh. now? Guardians. Guardians. Oh, they Guardians. Guardians, and they were the Cleveland Indians. Yeah. yeah. Now they're the Cleveland Guardians? Because they weren't yes. politically yeah. correct. Politically correct. Right. Well, you know, i got to tell you, the Indian, that is there another team, that's, uh, the Braves? Yeah. Are they so still far. the Braves? So far. And they the were, they, yeah. they didn't have a cartoon character as their logo, right? They had like a real Indian yeah. chief kind of look. So that or a hatchet, was, yeah. Yeah, so that wasn't considered bad, was it? I don't know. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm get, I get I mean, tired. The only of one that was really bad was the Redskins. I mean, I didn't have any problem with the Cleveland Indians. The Indians could kick ass. Yeah, yeah. But uh, so now it's the Cleveland Guardians. Yeah. And what do they use for a logo? A, a uh, condom? <laughs> well, I'm mean, you know, it's logical, right? I don't know what the hell they use. Probably a shield or something. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah. I think they're used to manufacture a lot of uh cars there. In Cleveland? We're in Cleveland? Yeah, in Cleveland. Yeah. Well it's the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Maybe it's something to do with that. There you go. Yeah, could be. It's a, it's could a big be. C, is what it is. Oh, just a big C? Okay. Yep. Wow. Picture of a guy with a guitar. Yeah. Tied, that would be good. Tied up six to six. Yeah. Well, it's six to six? Yep, and they're going oh, into uh, extra innings, it looks like. Well, uh, for those of you who uh, want to watch baseball instead of watch me... <laughs> go ahead, say it. Yourself. <laughs> You know, you know, these are probably the people who also, you know, there are people who are around now, and uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, black? Uh, oh God, my mind's so crashed. Um, Lewis Black did a bit about this on on uh, the Daily Show the other night, and that was people who haven't made up their mind yet. 
Yeah. yeah. Where are they? You know, what world are they living in that they haven't made their mind up yet? Oh, you're going to vote? Huh? You mean who, who, who is going to vote? No. Yeah, no who they, are they, they going to vote for? Who are they going to vote for? I don't know whether I haven't made up my mind. I still have to do a lot more studying. Yeah, or maybe they don't know the other person. Can't you name. tell a douchebag when you see him? <laughs> I mean, he's been in the public eye for eight years now. Give me a break. You don't you should, know enough about Trump? Yeah, yet? you should have made your mind up by now, asshole. You know? I mean, it's ridiculous. Here comes Brian Neary. He hasn't made his mind up yet either. No. So you know. I'm, I'm still on the fence myself, so. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, well, Hello. I already... I already what disrupting independence? <laughs> well, I have a certain uh, uh, feeling of uh, of remorse because uh, we got these things so we could vote early and vote by mail, and we sent ours in, and now I've changed my mind. Oh, too late! Can't do anything about it because <laughs> actually, you probably can. Hey, look, there's Adrian. There I'll she go is. Go in there and ask him to pull it. What? They have to go find it, and then you could spoil your your ballot and revote. Oh, can you do that? Yeah. Oh, wow. really? Hmm. Except you can probably piss off what some people because they got to go look for you. What is she doing? That's that's um, we uh, we can bring us her nostrils. We can look you got, up your. You got nostrils. bats in the cave. Yeah. You got some bats in the cave there. <laughs> yeah, right. I think they're in the car. Yes. Hello. Okay. So guess where we are. Up her, well, we're in her nose a few minutes ago. <laughs> okay, so so we're we're in we're we're from you know we're the Bay Area and we're driving to L.A. and we're on the very famous strip of freeway. Would that I be? Five. <laughs> huh? I five. But yes. where are you, be, Button Willow? Be more specific. Be more specific. Well, wait a minute. You're traveling. What are they called highway or whatever they call it. I, no, no, I, I don't think I don't think from where, I, what I, I just don't know which which area you're in. See, I don't we're think down, he, we're about an hour. We're about an hour and a half out of L.A. or two hours out of L.A. Well, you're on oh. the grapevine. Yeah, that's very good. We're on the grapevine. We're, we're up right. The grapevine is where? Oh, the grapevine is that road that goes up and down the into mountain, L.A. Yeah, yeah the okay. mountain between uh, Bakersfield and L.A. Yeah, I know. Yeah. And I knew Area. the term, and then I forgot exactly where it was. But Santa you, Clarita. Yeah. So you take you, you are you up the grapevine yet, or are you just approaching? Yeah, we're on up? top. We're on top. Oh, okay. we'll start going down. We'll lose you. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. So Adrian, Adrian's birthday is Monday. Mm -hmm. So we're going, I'm taking her to Disneyland tomorrow. So after school, oh. picked her up and we're driving down. We're staying at the hotel right across the street. And then, uh, yeah, and then we'll be at Disneyland all day tomorrow. Has she ever been to Disneyland? She's been to California, the right next door and um, Universal Studios. But we never mm -hmm. made it to Disneyland for some reason. Oh. So this will be her first first time. Oh, I, you know, I, I've kept telling Marjorie I want to go to Disney World, right? And I mean, I've been to Disney World before, but I said I'd like to take you to Disney World. I don't want to go. I don't want to go to Disney World. And I keep trying to tell her, you know, it's it's a lot of fun. Yeah. You know, you don't want to have to spend five <laughs> days there, but it's a lot of fun for about two days, you know? So how long are you going for? Yeah. How long are you going for? Uh, one day, but we got the lightning pass, so no lines, you know, that type of thing. The lightning pass? Yeah. Yeah. It's the, you don't have to wait in line. You get you know, Here's the ride. You go right up to the front between this time and this time, that, that type of thing. Yeah, but, but I remember... Did you have to pay the new prices? Uh, yeah, I guess. It was about $600 for both of us, for both parks. Both park California and uh, Disneyland. Because oh, I know okay. Disneyland broke two hundred last week. They said they were going up to two hundred. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we. I just got them before that, and then yeah. Now they say there's some other VIP pass, like an additional four hundred dollars a person. 
<laughs> oh my God, crazy! When I, I was I when Disneyland first opened, and I went to Disneyland, you got a thing of tickets. E tickets, there B was tickets, E tickets, and there were A yep. tickets, and there were B tickets, and C tickets, and whatever. Yep. The best ones to go on were the A tickets because nobody wanted mm -hmm. to go on those, so you could get right on them. Right and the in. E rides were the big ones. Yeah. The E rides, but you only got one E ticket, right? Maybe two, one? Yeah, it was only a couple, yeah. Yeah, but they don't do that anymore. Oh, hell no. You just pay one price and you go in, or you pay one other price. I guess you get to go in and be treated like royalty. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. The thing that gets me, though, right now is that they charge for parking at the hotel that you're staying at, which is ridiculous. Wow. Really? So you, you yeah. stay at a hotel, they still charge you $20 a night for parking. Still so stupid. How, so stupid. How, well, let me ask. Well, of course, the, the, you're, talking about, uh, you're talking about Disneyland. At Disney uh -huh. World, I mean, the only way you can get to Disney World is by car. You know, and I think the only way you can really get down to Disneyland is by car. Although, are there buses or trains going down there? Yeah, there's buses. Disneyland. Yeah. And Disney right in LA, so you can take you can take transit and everything else down there. Well, yeah. Yeah, D Disneyland though. There's a bunch of hotels around Disneyland. Yeah, and and okay. Well, it's Anaheim, and, and, and it's walk. yeah, yeah. It's Anaheim, and it's Anaheim uh, Convention Center is really is right next door with Marriott, Hilton, all the hotels. It, everybody walks there. Well, I get I get really confused because uh, I'm on the East Coast, and to me, Disney is Disney World. And uh, I, when I'm thinking of you there, I'm thinking of oh, and he's going where there's the big globe. No, no, that's the other. This is the one on the this coast, you know. The one on the other coast is a completely different thing. I mean, when I first went to Disneyland, uh, they were they were still pretty new, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was pretty much the original was Disneyland. Yeah, yeah, Disneyland yeah. was the first. And, and, all the others followed. And, yeah, and well, did what I'll tell you the reason why Disney started Disney World is because at Disneyland, as soon as he opened up Disneyland, all these people opened up motels, hotels, and everything yeah. around him. Mm. And, and they were taking advantage of Disney World. And mm. when he built uh, uh, Disneyland, rather, when he built yeah. Disney World, he made sure there was nobody within like 50 miles of Disney yeah. World. Okay? Uh. So that, that he could have all the hotels and everything. But then yeah. you had, you know, you had uh, uh, Universal. Went in right next door with Universal Studios. So, and Universal Studios has the big globe in the front. No, well, they have their globe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but well, at the, least in, in LA, that's what. Well, that's, there's the big Universal has the big globe. There's the big globe at Disney World. It's outside, that uh, uh -huh. kind of also represents, I think, Epcot as well. Yeah, because oh, you got yeah. you've got Epcot there, you've got Disney Disneyland, okay, in World. Disney World. In Disney World, I think they call that segment of the Magic Kingdom. That's what they call yeah, it. Magic Kingdom, you have Animal Kingdom, yeah. and then they do the um, the uh, then then we have uh, oh they had uh, the uh, well, MGM uh, Disney yeah. Studios, but it's I think it's yeah. no longer Disney. It's just you know the Disney Studios. And uh, you know it, 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 it quite a few different things, and Epcot, of course, which is huge, just huge. Epcot originally was Epcot. Epcot was originally supposed to be. The, do you know what it stands for? What is it? The something. Oh boy, of tomorrow. A prototype of tomorrow. Yeah. It, was, it, it was meant to be a place that people would live. It was meant to be a modern city. And, um, and they're supposed to show the modern city. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. yeah, but they never did it. What they did do is they did have a city right next to Disney World called, <laughs> uh, oh God, what was it called? And it's still there, kind of, but it 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 tried to be what Epcot was going to be, but not where Epcot was. And Epcot was turned into just this 
place where you know you could travel the whole world by going around Epcot. Yeah. You know, you had the, the you know the China Pavilion, you had the this pavilion, that pavilion, and so on. Uh, but man, uh, oh, cre- 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 what was it? it? Started with a C. I'm trying to remember. Does anybody know out there who's watching that can? Uh, you know the show sucks when Mango spit splits. Who's Mango? <laughs> what? You gotta give me Magno, Tony. Oh, and Magno, no, Mango, Mango I think left. He means Tony. Uh, what do you think they're talking about Tony? Probably Tony never never was here today. No. no. Whoever no. Marco was is is monopolizing the uh, the. Uh, ah. Um. Well, anyway, I I was thrown out for frowning. What? I, I don't get what any... I, this is why I never read the chat. <laughs> you know, it makes no sense. Yeah, don't, don't read the chat. Don't read the chat. Well, last night, no. uh, uh, um, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, 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 Josh, Josh was kind of d- d- put off by the chat because somebody... We know was writing some nasty things about Josh, and uh, and because I know the guy, I wrote him and I said, you know, don't do that, you know, and he said, well, I'm sorry, I, I, I had a whole bunch of problems with my computer and I'm just grouchy as hell, so, uh, <laughs> you know, but um, do they say nasty things about me? And do any of you pay attention to the chat? Uh- Look once I, in a while, that's about it. <laughs> yeah, if they, if, they, if they complain about what we talk about or we're boring, I just say call in or shut up. Yeah, if you, yeah. Think, if you, if you think the show's boring, then you just call up and add to the boredom. Uh, no, call exactly. up, you know, call up and uh, and join the panel. You know. Yeah, excite yeah. us with your with your word knowledge. Come like on. John Redshaw has written maybe a thousand chat lines. Yeah, and yet we've never seen. Oh, John! No, he's he's called in he's a couple times. Long has time he? Ago. Has he called? Yeah, he's, called. Okay. Yeah, he's been on. He's called in. Well, yeah, long time ago. Well, Marco, why don't yeah. you call Marco? You prick. Yeah, Marco Polo. <laughs> yeah, Marco Polo. Yeah. Where are you? Yeah, <laughs> Marco oh, Polo. Shit. Where are you? <laughs> Uh, but uh, you know, I I never even look over at the chat. I really should. I could put the chat on the screen with us. You know. I mean, it used to be where we could see, we could see what was going. I have to go to a whole nother window in order to see what's on the chat. Oh, really? Yeah. It's sort of, yeah. It's sort of weird now. Yeah. Yeah. But just layer them anyway. So uh, let's see. Right now, it's uh, it's uh, what uh, it's about. 8:30 where you are in California where you're driving? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's pitch dark. Yes, yeah, 8:30. And what time do you, and, uh, well, What time well, do you I, plan on getting to, getting to the hotel? Uh 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Okay. And is she asleep yet? Is she dozing off? <laughs> she says she lied down for a second and then she's up again. Yeah. 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 And we get the we get the full moon. Well, last night was the full moon, so it's a nice yeah. moon though coming up on yeah. our side left. Does not. Yeah, there's no no way to really turn on the lights in there, is there? I mean, you can turn them on, but then it's hard to see outside. Outside you know. the window. Mm-hmm. I yeah. got the duck. There we go. See, there he is. Yeah. Uh, oh, there she and there she. She's look. She's sleeping already. <laughs> uh, hey, Brian, are you in the electric car? Yes. Where'd you have to charge? Uh, yeah. I I I stop at uh, Bravo Farms to collect some money, and then I, I leave. Yeah, we went to uh, Kettleman City. They have the uh, Bravo Farms, so yeah. it's like that's our our, our natural s- spot to stop. Anyways, every time we go to LA, mm. we stop there. Yeah, and so we stopped there, and we walked around, <laughs> took some pictures, and then. And, uh, left and we're good to go how long so, that's, how that's long does basically that... that's basically the halfway point between the bay area and la yep. <clears throat> because yeah, that's where, uh, and is that's it, where is that a fact we used to run our yeah. trucks we'd run sets of doubles and they we'd come from the bay area down to kettleman city and then they'd come up from la 
and we'd switch all our trailers, all four trailers, and <laughs> go back to the LA and go back to the Bay Area. Is that a fast? Yep. Char- was that a fast charge for you? Yes. Yeah, it was a fast charge. Like how much? Minutes, and it was like. Hey. Wait a minute. Well, you're, you're, you're breaking up on us. Oh, and look what we have and for a picture. Yeah. The, the look picture what is, we have for a picture. Okay. There's a, bo- there's, a, there's a booger in your left nose nostril. <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> if you pick it, it'll never heal. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 It, uh, but, now, what do you have to say, Marco? <laughs> this okay. Yeah, Marco, you like that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. It says the show needs a transfusion. You know what I'm going to do to Marco? I can do this. Oh. Oh my God. Oh. No. You know what I can do? I can. I can. Uh, I can actually make it so that Marco. Uh, let me see here. Can I do anything? Can I, I used to be able to do it. Oh, I see. There it is. Marco. And then I can put this here. Oh, there we go. Let's see here. Uh, put user on timeout. There we go. Oh, how for how long? Should we do it for 15, 10 seconds? One minute? Five minutes? 10 minutes? 30 minutes? 24 hours? <laughs> I can do. do Shall I do it? Do one minute. I'll one do, minute so you can think about think about what he's next. One, one minute? minute. Okay, we'll do one minute right now. Okay. All right. There we go. And Marco, oh his message Good. is deleted by Gabnet, and I guess he's <laughs> out for uh, yeah, a couple of minutes now. So anyway, Mar- Marco won't be able to play the game. So it's just John Redshaw now. <laughs> That's all we got. Go ahead, John. John, you can blast Marco. <laughs> well, you know what? It also takes him all out of the conversation, all the conversation. Yes. Because all yes. the Marcos disappeared. Yeah. Did they disappear? Really? On here, they didn't disappear. But, you uh, know. Yeah. Maybe they'll come back when you're, he's off timeout. Yeah. But anyway, it's nice. Bad to, boy. Yeah, it's nice. To, so now it's just John Redshaw, and there's one other guy there. So... So, so Marco, go screw yourself. See, I got the best of you. You got a whole minute to do it. <laughs> no, five minutes. I think I put him oh, in five minutes. Five. Five minutes. Oh, Alex. What do you mean, oh, Alex? <laughs> well, he said something nasty about me. Can't I? Can't I? Oh, he did. Yes. Well, of course, yeah. I can't see it now since you put him on time. <laughs> You're just exercising your. Just exercising your communist ways. Well, here, uh, Don Giller just wrote, I miss Marco. <laughs> Don misses okay, Marco. I put, I put Don Giller on 24 hours timeout. No, I'm yeah. only kidding you. I'm only I'm kidding weak. you. I miss Marco, says Don Giller. Uh, Don, you have to hear me. It's John Ridshaw. Uh, hear me rant. Okay. Anyway, so so um, um, nothing much has been happening today. Everybody is grousing about what happened last night on the uh, uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it? The Catholic Charities Dinner here. The what's the name of the mayor that was here? Oh, I didn't know yeah. about that. You didn't know about that. And Trump, no. Trump was uh, got up to give a speech, and uh, you know you get up. It, it, oh, one he talking to the uh, every the four staff. years they invite both candidates to show up and uh, give a speech, okay? And usually it's like it's kind of like a roast, all right? So they're supposed to get up and nicely go after their competition kid about the people in the room, you know, things like that. And she she did a very nice job of she couldn't show up. And also she wasn't going to show up because he wasn't going to show up. And at the last minute he decided to show up and she was somewhere else so she taped a little, you know, 8 minute thing. And it was very funny and it was very nice and she went out of her way to do it. And then the first thing he said was 
What an absolute slam against the Catholics, her not showing up for this. <laughs> well, you know, to begin with, you little loser, you told everybody you weren't going to show up. And all of a sudden, you decide to show up at the last minute. So he could do that. Yeah. Uh, and he was there with, uh, with uh, Melania, uh, who we know, uh, better known as the Beard. So anyway, yeah. you know. I mean, um, she was there, and um, um, what was it? Oh, yeah, um, um, Schumer was sitting there, and then right next to him was the cardinal, okay, and right next to him was Trump. So they were very kind of close to each other. And at one point, uh, but uh, Trump was trying to be funny, but he wasn't. And then he couldn't stop from just going off on these rants, you know, his normal rants. And this isn't the nature of what that dinner is all about. <laughs> and he's been, like, going after her for the last 24 hours. Oh, she didn't show up to help. He didn't even know what the dinner was. It's the Al Smith dinner. That's what it's called. Yeah. And he, uh, he didn't, uh, he, he kept referring to it today as she didn't show up for the Catholics. <laughs> you know, and that you know, it, it was it just terrible what he what he's doing. He's a terrible, horrible human being. And how you yeah. can sit out there and go, I haven't made up my mind yet. Let me make up your mind, my your mind, your mind for you, okay? He's a piece of shit. Excuse me. Uh, she's she's playing games. She doesn't hear you. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> But did they do that, that, that? What was the other one that they did? The news correspondence dinner? Do they still do that one? Oh, yeah, they that's do, the one they, where it, Obama ripped on, on, on oh, uh, Trump and then well, Trump got like really th buttered. That's the, that's the genesis of Trump running for president. Yeah. That correspondence yeah, dinner. Yeah. And, and uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, for how many years was. Trump running around saying, we want to see his uh, birth certificate, you know. He wasn't born in this country. He's not an American, whatever. And uh, finally, you know, um, Trump is in the audience and Obama is up there because the president gets to give a roast kind of thing. And he went after Donald. And Donald has no sense of humor about himself, absolutely none whatsoever. And uh, he uh, he just sat there kind of really, he hates being put down, especially in, in a public venue. And he never forgot that. And that's what made him decide to run for president. And once he was president, he never appeared once in the four years nope. at the correspondence dinner, you know. Yeah, I, I'm sure him him being made fun of by a black guy made it even worse. You know, it's like, yeah. Well, being being made fun of by a guy he wouldn't rent to, you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, yeah. so funny. Yeah. I mean, that's why I can't see how all of these black males are supposed to be, you know, voting for Trump. I said, why? Oh, Marco's back from his time out now. <laughs> he said thank you Don <laughs> and then he says Melania didn't talk to him I don't know whether she was talking to him or not I couldn't tell um, but she was sitting right next to him so you know he showed up with her did you see the thing on what Saturday Night Live did uh, uh, when they opened last week their opening was a takeoff on Family Feud Family Feud right yeah. You know, with the uh, with the Trumps and the uh, and the uh, yeah. <laughs> and Kamala's and no no malaria, malaria and, and, and no women. And then they say, and so Donald uh, and who's who's uh, who's sitting next to you, and uh, uh, Melania is right next to you, and they pull back and it's empty. She's not there. <laughs> oh my God! So. Yeah, that was very funny. It was very funny. But I like what they're doing for this 50, right? They they have, you know, some of these other people that are popping up. It's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they're bringing in the... Uh, it, since nobody knows who the get, who the uh, uh, cast is on that show anymore, uh, they, they've started bringing in, like, you know, Dana Carvey and uh, 
whole bunch of people from the past that they they know they can count on. And they don't just use them in the opening bit to play the various right. presidential people in the presidential race. They, um, uh, you know, they have them do other sketches as well. Uh, anyway, so, but it's just, I'm, I'm going to be so happy when this is all over. I mean, you know, whichever way it turns out, oh, I'm not going to be happy if it, you yeah. know, if she, I, I have a funny feeling she's not only going to win, she's going to absolutely rue the day, you know, rule the day. Uh, because um, there are just too many indicators that it's going to come out okay for her. And what, do, what do you think, guys think? You, you think so, don't you, uh, um, Charlie? Yeah, I've said all along. <laughs> That uh, she's gonna win big. It's not even gonna be close. Well, it turns out that he hasn't. He's got the men, and she's got the women. And uh, is it my imagination, or are there more women in America than there are men? Yes, there are. Yeah. And secondly, uh, it's okay that uh, he's got the men. He, he's you know he's got them by a certain percentage. But it doesn't look like he's going to. Uh, that's going to be the thing that's going to make him win because women are going to go. To... Husband, right? What? No, nothing. Nothing. Uh, well, women. Yeah. Women. <laughs> women have been going to the polls um, yeah. like crazy now because of the whole, uh, you know, the whole issue with abortion, and mm -hmm. they have a stake in the game. Oh. Guys, guys, guys really don't, you know. But, but I don't I understand why. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I, no, I just re really quick. I just could say I just don't understand why is it taking the abortion issue for them to come out because all the other stuff that he's done to, to women, you know, I, I don't know why the women are finally turning now instead yeah, why did of it with take, all this other stuff. Why did it take the abortion thing rather than all the other stuff he said about yes. women? You know, exactly. But uh, I think that became a defining issue, and I think they finally don't like the way he feels about women. Okay, and now it's a question of a black woman. You know, so it's race and sexism. But what do you expect out of him? You know, he—that's yeah. the kind of jerk he is. Um, but. You know, I'm just getting tired of this whole thing. I mean, Giller last night wrote me and said he was just tired of hearing about Trump, 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 Trump. But that's been the problem with the whole thing. Trump has constantly been do been dominating the news cycle. And it's it's the fault of everybody else, the fault of MSNBC, you know. It's like, can't shut up about Trump. Let's talk about Kamala and let's move, you know, get out there and root for Kamala. Yeah. But quit talking about Trump. He isn't worth talking about, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and, and also, I mean, if you're watching MSNBC, yeah, I know he's a jerk, okay? You don't have to constantly tell me that he is. Yeah. I heard her uh, being interviewed at Fox. Yeah. And that was, uh, I want to say, they were, they were pretty nasty. Oh, yeah. Well, Brett Baer was being very, very adversarial. Yeah. When really what he should have been was the reporter asking, yeah. you know, certainly you ask tough questions. But you don't, if you listen closely, he kept talking over her. Yeah, he wouldn't let, he'd ask her, her a question and then she'd start to answer and he'd just talk over her. Yeah. Interrupting her. And, and that was wrong. Um, he, today he apologized for having uh, that whole thing wrong about the, uh, uh, the, 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 video, the clip he ran showing that Trump uh, said that he didn't, uh, you know, he wasn't going after people and so on and so forth. And uh, he uh, he apologized because he said I shouldn't I should have run another clip instead, which is where he said it. 
Uh, but it's a little late to apologize, you little jerk, you know. And I thought, quite frankly, I mean, I, I've watched Fox, and I thought that Brett Baer was far more in the middle than any of the people over at Fox. And I thought it would be a, a decent interview. You know, you ask the hard questions, but once you ask the question, you let the person answer that question. That's what it, that's what news reporting is all about. You don't, you know, you don't ask the question, and while she's answering it, start interrupting her because you don't agree with the answer she's giving you. You know, you wait for her to finish, and then you jump in and say, but in this time you said this, you know. So that's where, and he really, a lot of people were really down on him because of the way he handled that. And that included people who are, you know, watch Fox and enjoy Fox and are morons and have to believe Fox, you know. So anyway. Um, well, I was trying to listen mm -hmm. to, to hear, you know, some of the extra things that she's that I've heard about him and some new things that I never heard about before. And but it was very difficult to listen to things, not just because what was um, being presented, but the, there was a person who was next to me who was just screaming <laughs> about how how she's a liar and a you know that she's not, that she's not everything right. Oh, you were with somebody who was screaming. Oh at yeah. You? Oh really? Oh my god. Really? Yeah. And do you talk to them anymore? <laughs> not about politics. Oh boy. Ah, it's a headache. Yeah, what was she doing that was you know that was so bad? Well, she's a Republican nutcase. Hmm. Her hmm. and her husband. Same. And so you decided to watch this with her? I, I don't know. Somehow, Pam put it on at, she was at our house and blah, blah. It happens to be somebody that in her room, her cousin. I'll say that. And, I won't uh, say who she is. I'll just say it's a, her cousin. Yeah, right. That's, that's the way I said it. Well, so, how do you, how do you deal with that? Because you probably like them. You, other than that, right? Well, Pam says no talking with me about politics. No politics, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah so. and I really, I don't want to hear your opinion. I don't want to. She goes, we can't discuss anything. Yeah, because it only ends up screaming and yelling and. And and whatever, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, I haven't heard that in a long time. About what they do, yeah. And uh, the, the the biggest thing is, uh, I said something about Trump, and they go, "Well, you know, the Democrat really. That's why he didn't get became president the second time." Is that they, they they lied about it? Oh, they feel the they feel the the uh, 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 the last election was fixed, right? Yep, absolutely. I don't know where they get that idea. I mean, it's been so well, disproven. Well, I know. You know, um, they believe Trump. There's I Trump. Can't. It. It's something a little rough here, but it, uh, uh, hit your mute, uh, uh, Charlie, just for a second. Hit mute, okay? And uh, yeah, uh, you see, there's some kind of oh. Then we just and we just I lost. lost uh, we we it was lost Brian, and he went through the hills. We probably lost. Him. Lost Brian. Oh, that was Brian. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> and Charlie was uh, causing a little scratchiness, but now it seems to be gone once we turned you on That's and off true. again. Well, here we are. It's down to the four of us. Yep. 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 So well, what are you going to do in Paris? That's what I'm curious. Probably stay in the hotel room. 
Oh, come on. You know, I mean, I don't know if I can walk, you know. Mm -hmm. That's my big problem. But Marjorie says, well, we'll just get a car and we'll hire a car to just take us everywhere and just stay there wow. when we go somewhere into a museum to meet us outside, you know, and things like that. And we'll just uh, hire a car for a day and, and get around to various places. You know, yeah, I might be able, I might be able to walk. You know, I mean, I walked today about a good mile. You know, but uh, it yeah. wasn't easy. You know, yeah. I I I don't know, you know, what the problem is, uh, because I you know a couple of weeks ago I was walking fine. You know, and all of a sudden I've started having these problems. And it's concurrent with me doing physical therapy, but I still try to do all the stuff every day that I can, you know. I uh, think they overworked you. It could be. It could be, you know. Uh, but uh, I just felt that I was getting weaker and weaker every day. It was harder to walk. And, uh, uh, you know, I have a tendency to trip a little bit and... I, I don't trip and fall, but I, you know, I trip as I walk, and I that worries me. So mm -hmm. we'll see. We'll see how I do in Paris. If if I can't do it, I will we'll stay at the hotel and order a room service and watch French TV, which I can't understand. So, <laughs> you know, I wonder. I wonder. I guess. I guess I could probably just on the TV there go for English subtitles, right? Yeah, you should be able to. Yeah. Yeah, should be able to get that. So, anyway, we, you know, we're going. I'm doing it for Marjorie. I'm not doing it for me. She just said to me, "You know what I'd like to do for my birthday this year?" And I said, "What?" She said, "I'd like to go to Paris." So I said, "Okay, we'll go to Paris for your birthday. When do you want to go?" She said, "The seventh. I said, "But your birthday's the third." Yeah. And she said, "Well, that's the best day for us to go. I want to be here for the election." Uh, so we're doing this as a birthday present for her. Nice. And we're go we're just going to Paris. We'll get on the plane. Uh, I'll sit on the plane for about... Whenever I'm sitting for a long period of time, I can't walk. I have to get up and walk very slowly and take it easy. And then eventually my le I get my walking legs going. So We'll see what happens. First too. What? You can get on first too. Just tell them you you want to get bored pre. Oh no, well, you know we've ordered we've ordered up a, a, a wheelchair. Yeah, but uh, you don't have to. You don't have to pay for extra seats to pre-board or nothing. You can just go up there and pre-board. Yeah, oh, with just, your wheelchair with the wheelchair. Yeah, yeah. When yeah. they said we're anybody that needs assistance or you know needs a uh, whatever, they put you on first. Yeah. So you don't got to deal with bouncing over people and everything else. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I'm I'm kind of resistant to the wheelchair because I figure that's kind of giving up, you know. But I guess I shouldn't feel that way. It's either that or you can get a ride from one of them guys on the little carts that run around. They run all over these airports. Yeah. With those little electric carts and you just jump on that and oh, take a ride. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. I didn't think about oh, that one. That? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, I may I'll, maybe I'll do that, you know. Hey, there's the uh, there's the theme. I've done it. Uh, if you want to, let's all do the Trump dance. You know? <laughs> uh, this, this is the this is the jerking off two guys at once. Okay. Anyway, well, I mean, why not? You know, it's the whole He's new much better out. It, it's a whole new dance rage. Anyway, thank you, Charlie, for being here this evening. I appreciate it. And uh, thank you, uh, Jeff, for being here. And thanks to uh, Kevin for joining us. I also want to thank uh, Bree for letting us play Where in the World is Bree? Yeah. Right? And also to uh, 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 Brian and, uh, and, and Adrian, who are traveling down to L.A., uh, we couldn't see them at all, except occasionally we got a good shot of her nostril, which I think was <laughs> yeah. really good. Really yeah. Everybody, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go. That's our, uh, that's our uh, people. Uh, that's our citizen panel for tonight. Uh, there'll be another citizen panel starting up right after us. Uh, 
but it'll be on uh, Skype, and you call GabNet Live, okay? And uh, that will be uh, uh, the thing to do for you. I will be gone until Monday when we do our pop-up show, which appears on Facebook. And then we'll be back here on YouTube and everywhere else uh, on uh, Wednesday. Same time, same station in life. And in the meantime, do what I always do. If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Good night, everybody. This is a test. For the next 60 seconds, this station will go. Wait a minute, I gotta stop all this. There we go. I pushed, I have these buttons and I pushed them. Oh, great. And we got the opening going there. Just give me, just give me a few minutes here. That. There we go. I'll try to sign off. If you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye.